Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam Scott Thorne and I am a vocal coach based in Glasgow. I can't even say the word vocal. I am a vocal coach based in Glasgow. <laughs> now, if you'd like to meet and explore your voice a little more, you can find me on sstvocals.com. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon, and I'll put the handles down below and over there, there. Nice and simple today. I ain't playing with no runs. <laughs> So if you'd like to consider becoming a patron, you have access to things like early release of reactions, you can become a reaction, fast track reaction, you've got special parts in my Discord group, the link of which is down below too. Um, so please consider becoming a patron and help shape my channel. So this next one has been requested a lot, like a lot, a lot. Um, it is a band called Disturbed and they're singing The Sound of Silence, which I think is the Simon and Garfunkel song. Um, it's one of these um, tracks that people really want to see reacted to. Um, so I'm just going to jump right in and have a listen. I don't know much, if anything, about Disturbed um, at all. So, I mean, I know they're kind of a rock band, um, but that's about it. So let's just go and have a listen, see what we think, see what's jumped out and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, right, let's just go. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Oh, I've come to talk with you again because a vision softly creeping left its scenes while I was sleeping and the vision that was planted in my brain still remains within the sound of silence <laughs> wow okay so First thoughts, just beautiful, dark, velvety tone. Just like, really pretty. I noticed that his lips aren't moving very much. He only really opens his mouth on some of the bigger vowels um, to let it kind of resonate a touch more. But what that does with such a low register is it makes everything kind of intimate and, and it's it's captivating that sound it's just beautiful there is a sl there's a like a pitch wobble now i don't know if that's something to do with like a vibrato that he's doing or if it's like a like a production thing like a tiny bit of melodyne i'm not entirely sure um i'll like isolate a little bit of what i was hearing so that you can be the judge darkness my own it's a very common feature so I'm not sure which it is but there's just an odd kind of wobble at certain parts doesn't sound wrong it sounds like it's uh, like a tuning type thing um, but anyway let's keep going in restless dreams I walked alone Narrow streets of cobblestone Neath the halo of a street lamp Beautiful I turned my collar to the cold and damp When my eyes were stared by the flash of a neon light that split in the night and touch the sound of silence and in the naked light I saw ten thousand people maybe more people talking with Just 
disturb the sound of silence. Wow. Okay, so we're hearing the opposite end of his register. And can you hear the difference in the, the tonal quality? So you've got this deep, resonant, rich, kind of rumbly sound when he's down in the bottom part of his register. And then it thins out and it gets brighter and brighter and brighter the higher he gets. But you lose a bit of that resonance, but it's got with itself a different character. So I don't know where you would class his voice, like if you were to go for like the traditional classifications, because it sits in a bassy place, a baritone and a kind of a tenory place at the same time. It's just beautiful. But where he sits changes the, the tone and uh, intent of his voice entirely. It's crazy. Lovely. I like that he sits on consonants as well as vowels. So he's got that resonant, um, yeah, I keep saying the word resonant, but it's a very resonant voice that he's got. So he's got a, a big full sound on his vowels, which is a more traditional opera, musical theatre type thing where they sit and a, o, e, a, e, a, whatever. Um, and then more contemporary stuff like R&B, pop, all that kind of stuff. They sit more on their consonants. So, mm, yin, me, mm, me, like that. And they, they close off vowels a wee bit more. And he's dipping in between the two, um, which is just giving it this really interesting kind of sound. So I'm sure he's not done because we're only about halfway through. So let's just keep going. Fool said I you do not know Silence like a cancer grows Hear my words and I might teach you Take my arms and I might reach you But my Adding some texture in it. And the people bowed and prayed oh. to the neon god they made. And the sign lashed out in its warning. And the words that it was for me. And the sign said the Okay, so part three, let's call it, is where he added in texture and he added in a kind of a gravel on top of his voice, but did, he pulled it through both of his registers and it gave it a completely different feeling. So the, the bottom sounded like a growly kind of sound and the top was more of like a, like a shriek. It was amazing, really, really nice. I'm probably using the wrong terms for um, the style of music, so feel free to tell me what you would call a low growl and a very high growl, um, but just beautiful. The comment I made about it possibly being tuned by production, um, I'm still not 100% sure, but it could be the way that he sits on the vowels, like I was speaking about. Sound of silence. Like hear how you can make that kind of wobble. Um, it could be that that's just the way that he sings that phrase and because he's doing it so low, it makes it sound very, very pronounced. But I don't know, I wasn't there, so I'm just, you know, just what popped into my head at the time, so please don't, you know, hate me for it.
But that was amazing. So, I mean, it, I'm pretty sure that that song is maybe a departure for the style of music that Disturbed do. Like, I'm not sure that they're solely involved in Simon and Garfunkel covers. <laughs> but uh, let me know if there's any other really good live performances, then send me some links and we can check that out. So, amazing job. That guy has just got a, like an amazing voice. Textured, creamy, like tight, everything. It's got, it's got, it's got it all. It's got it all. And, that, and that's that. That's, that's the, the 411 on that. Is that the phrase? I don't know. Stop talking. Stop talking. So I hope you enjoyed that reaction. If you did, please give it a like and a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more from me, hit subscribe, ring the bell. And anytime I have new content, you will be the first to know. So... All that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me and I don't know how I'm going to go buy this one either. I don't know how I'm going to go buy any of them because I don't know the song I'm listening to and therefore do not plan it. <laughs> Hello. Hello darkness my friend. I've come to talk with you again. And if you like this, then I hope you will subscribe and hit like again. But for now, it's goodbye. <laughs> that's why you shouldn't make up lyrics because you end up just singing the same thing twice. But you know, that's what you're getting. So uh, bye.